It's wiener time! Go ahead and add a cylinder to your scene. Tab in edit mode, stretch it out, and go ahead and bevel both ends. Then add like a bajillion edge loops. Also, make sure that your cylinder is unwrapped. It already should be, but just make sure. If it's not, go ahead and do that. Go to your modifiers tab. Add a subdivision surface modifier with a resolution of two and shade your cylinder smooth. Then add a simple deform modifier, set to bend, and go ahead and play with the angle. Woohoo! Set a keyframe for your angle. Move forward like 10 frames in your timeline. Then set a keyframe for the inverse of your current angle. Then do it again. Go forward another 10 frames and move back to the original value. Then you can go ahead and trim your timeline to one frame before the last keyframe and now you have a perfect loop. Go ahead and lock your render interface. Then go down to the object properties tab and turn on tension maps. Also turn on always update. Set the strength to 2.5 and the bias to negative 0.25. We'll change this later. Go to the shading workspace, object properties tab, vertex colors, copy the name of the color map. Create a new material and an attribute node. Paste the name of the color map in the attribute node and connect it to the base color. Then, go ahead and find the frame where your hot dog is the most bendy and adjust the bias just a little bit. After that, you can go ahead and add a separate RGB node and a color ramp so that you can adjust it a little bit more. Create a new Voronoi texture and connect it to the base color so that we can see it a little bit more. Then, go ahead and add a mapping and a texture coordinate node set to UV coordinates. Turn the scale up and set it to smooth F1. Then turn the Y scale up so it looks like little bitty wrinkles. Then add in a mix RGB node. Connect the map to the top one and the Voronoi texture to the bottom one. Set it to multiply and turn the factor up to one. Then you can go ahead and add in a bump node and connect it to the normal socket. Connect the mix RGB node to the height and remove the base color. Set the color to a dark gray and make it a little bit shinier. Then go to your bump node and adjust the strength and the distance so that the wrinkles look a little bit more organic. Then you can go ahead and make that wiener hot dog color and add in a new mix RGB node. Set the top color to your hot dog color and the bottom color to a deeper, darker, redder hot dog color. Connect your map to the factor of your mix RGB node and then connect the mix RGB node to the subsurface color and turn subsurface to one. Make material preview, use your scene lights and your scene world so you can adjust your subsurface a little bit better. Go to render layout view and boom, you got a wrinkly, squirming, rootin' tootin' hot dog thing ready to be rendered because hot dogs add realism to everything.